Rationalize the numerator. Given the following expression, which is read as the square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1, uh, h all over h times the square root of x times the square root of x plus h, to rationalize the numerator, what that means is we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator in order to eliminate, if possible, the radicals. In this case, since we have a subtraction sign right here, the conjugate will be the square root of x plus the square root of x plus h. But if we do that in the numerator, we must also multiply that in the denominator. Because what's happening here is I'm actually multiplying by an expression that is equal to 1. And if you multiply anything by 1, it does not change the value of the expression. So let's go ahead and do our multiplication. I'm going to enclose the numerator, both of them, in parentheses. And now I'm going to apply the FOIL method to do the multiplication. We'll do the first, which is going to be the square root of x times the square root of x. Then we're going to do the outside, which will be the square root of x times a positive square root of x plus h. And since the square root of x is positive and the square root of x plus h is also positive, that means that I'm going to simply add this product. And now the next step is going to be to multiply the inside terms. And so we take this term and multiply it. And actually, we'll take this term and multiply it by that term. That's going to be your inside. So that's going to be a negative square root of x plus h times a positive square root of x. So we'll have a negative. And then we have the square root of x plus h times the square root of x. And then finally, we're going to do our last terms. And we're going to multiply a negative square root of x plus h times a positive square root of x plus h. And that will give us a negative value right here also. And then we simply have the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h. And we're going to simplify that in just a moment. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the denominator. And since in the denominator, this is a complete product, what I'm going to do is multiply by using the distributive property this expression times the square root of x and multiply that expression times the square root of x plus h. And so when I do that, we have h square root of x times the square root of x plus h times the square root of x. And since this is an addition symbol, we will put a plus sign. And now we're going to multiply the x plus h, I mean the square root of x plus h, by that expression. And I end up with h square root of x times the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h. And now what we do is we simplify all of these by multiplying and trying to eliminate terms if at all possible. Now, when I do this in the fraction, we'll start with this right here. Square root of x times the square root of x is going to be the square root of x quantity squared, which is the same thing as simply saying x. 
then I have this addition symbol and I have this negative symbol and you'll see or I should say subtraction symbol that these are the same terms so they will add to zero I don't need to write that in there so we'll just eliminate that now we have a subtraction symbol and we are multiplying the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h which is the square root of x plus h squared which is going to be the same thing as x plus h notice that i have enclosed this in parentheses because of this initial subtraction sign that means that i will have to distribute the subtraction or negative sign across both of the terms now in the denominator we're going to go ahead and do some simplification you'll see that in this one right here that we have a square root of x times the square root of x which we've already shown is equal to x so this is simply going to be h x square root of x plus h and we'll go ahead and write that down here then we'll go ahead and look at this and we see that we have a square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h which we've already shown is going to give us simply x plus h so now this becomes h times the square root of x times x plus h now when I look at this I'm gonna see how I can simplify this here's my plus sign and then we will have h square root of x times x plus h and now we end up with x minus x minus h in the numerator over and I'm going to factor an h out of both of these I end up with h times x square root of x plus h plus square root of x times x plus h in the numerator x minus x is going to be zero and I end up with negative h in the numerator in the denominator I have a positive h times the expression that I originally had and I can go ahead and distribute the square root of x over the both of those and end up with x square root of x plus h square root of x and you'll notice that I can now divide h into itself once and then the negative h negative one times and I end up with the following negative one over the quantity x square root of x plus h plus x square root of x plus h square root of x now that's not the only way to do it we could do the following and let's examine that for just a moment now the directions simply say rationalize the numerator that means that I don't necessarily have to simplify the denominator for example when I do the initial multiplication you'll notice that I'm multiplying this entire factor by this expression now we already know that the numerator is going to simplify to negative h and I will not repeat that but now if I do not distribute h square root of x square root of x plus h across the expression square root of x plus square root of x plus h I will simply end up with the following and now you'll note that we can simply say h divides into itself once 
and h divides into negative h negative one times and so now our result is equal to negative one over the expression square root of x square root of x plus h times square root of x plus the square root of x plus h either one would be acceptable in this particular instance I believe that's the answer that WebAssign was looking for even though it should accept the other possibility.